Doctor Strange 2 has an 82% Friday to Friday drop, making it the biggest drop ever for an MCU movie, and the biggest drop I can remember for any superhero movie and maybe any movie. Uh, this is insane. This says a lot about what people think about the movie. Now, obviously, to be clear, Doctor Strange 2 made a massive amount of money opening weekend. It will make money. It will make a lot of profit because it was front-loaded so much. But the 82% tells you that the audience went into this movie and walked out and they weren't happy. It tells you that the word of mouth was not very strong. And a lot of people were probably upset with the fact that this was basically WandaVision Season 2. That's all it was. This was not a Doctor Strange movie. The bait and switch happened. And plus, it was a convoluted mess. It was not a good movie at all. And people are really getting tired of that. So that's what this 82% represents. But you still have to note that the fact that the movie made so much money up front. So people still put their money out there and they will st still turn a profit. But let's get a little deeper into this. Now, Odin's going to have his full box office breakdown tomorrow, as he does every week on the channel. So he'll get a little deeper into these numbers. And these are still just estimates at this particular moment in time. So keep all of that in mind. Here we go over on Forbes. And it's basically breaking all of this down, saying since there's only one new wide release this weekend and a half-hearted affair at that, there was little doubt that Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness would keep the domestic box office crown. The MCU sequel earned $16.7 million on its second Friday, down a frankly huge 81.5% from the $90 million opening weekend. That initial Friday gross had $36 million worth of Thursday preview grosses, but the drop is still on par with Black Widow's 70 9% Friday to Friday drop and the biggest Friday to Friday drop ever for a Disney MCU movie. That speaks volumes in my opinion. It's essentially tied with 81% uh, 81.6% second Friday drop for Batman v Superman. So that's the type of context that we have here and we all know how the theatrical version for Batman versus Superman was received. I hated that movie and I hated the director's cut as well, but a lot of people did like the director's cut, but they absolutely hated the theatrical version because it was awful. In my opinion, both of them are awful. But that's kind of the the place that we are in with this Doctor Strange film. So what does this tell us about the future of the MCU? It tells us that the fans who have been telling you that there are problems with this universe in this particular phase are 100% right. People are not really connecting with this universe like they used to. And any movie that drops off this much, that is a clear sign that you're not really connecting with the audience like you should be. Again, massive opening weekend. It cannot be taken away, and no one's trying to take that fact away. That happened, and you can't change that. And that is something to be respected because it does show you that the power of the Marvel Cinematic Universe to get people in the theater is still there. But the legs do not appear to be there. Now, this is a Friday to Friday. Ultimately, we're going to get the full numbers. And Odin, again, like I said, will have his full breakdown. But these are something that we should be paying attention to. And I'm sure that Disney and Marvel are paying attention to this because this is a big hit film for them. This is a heavy hitter. And for it to have such a massive drop-off like this is something that they're definitely going to be paying attention to. So maybe it's not just the toxic man babies out there, Disney. Maybe it's not just the alt-right haters out there. Maybe it's actually people that watch your product and they're tired of what you're doing. No one needs to sit through all of these Netflix, I'm sorry, these Disney Plus shows, these Marvel ne uh, Disney Plus shows. I haven't watched all of them. I haven't watched uh, WandaVision. I watched half of it until you fired Gina Carano. I didn't watch Loki. Uh, I didn't watch Moon Knight. I didn't watch, um, what's the other one? Um, I can't even keep up with how many of these dumb Disney Plus Marvel series there are, but people shouldn't have to sit through all of this to understand what's going on in your movie, and then you pull the bait and switch where you marketed this as a Doctor Strange film, but it wasn't a Doctor Strange film. It absolutely wasn't. And it was a convoluted mess. An absolute disaster of a film, in my opinion. I did not like this movie at all. I couldn't even finish watching it. But you guys want the feedback, and that's what we're here to do. And clearly, the feedback has impacted the second week in box office numbers because that's why genuine feedback is very important. And it's important that we continue to give you that feedback so you, the audience, know what to spend your hard earned money on, money on. And that's exactly what's happening. So, you guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think this spells trouble for the MCU moving forward? Time will tell. Have a great day, and we will talk to you later.